Welcome back. Thanks for watching the general informational video prior to this one. If you have assets that are $20,000 or more, then this video will apply to you. At the very least, you'll be required to pay for closing costs on a Habitat home purchase. You might also qualify to contribute towards a down payment. As you recall from the informational video, the sales price of your Habitat home is set by using an appraisal and or the Oregon Bond Residential Loan Purchase Price Limit, whichever is lower. However, remember, you only pay for 33% of your gross household income on your home as your mortgage payment. So this still leaves us with a gap in the value of the home versus what you can afford. Each year, the executive director and the board look at the cost of building and developing at the market value of our homes, our fundraising goals, and other funding assistance on future homes, and they determine an average loan amount that is required by our program applicants. Our hope is that you will be pre-qualified for a loan amount that meets this requirement. So next, let's look again at how we fill the gap between the sales price and your affordable home loan amount. Other loans, also called liens, are placed on Habitat homes to help us fill the funding gap. Sometimes these consist of city development block grant funds, also known as CDBG, reduced or deferred system development fees, you may have heard the term SDCs, and then sometimes we apply grants from the state. All of these are meant for affordable housing builders and buyers. Uh, some of these loans or liens are forgiven after you've been in the home for a number of years, and sometimes they're to be paid off after you have paid off your original affordable home loan. So as you look at the slide, are you starting to see how the gap in funding is being reduced after applying your loan amount and all the other loans? We'll continue to look at how we continue to drop uh, this gap as we include other sources of funding or down payments on the loan structure. Okay, let's look at the Habitat subsidy loan. The subsidy loan is a silent second that is held at zero interest that's placed on a loan when needed if there's still a gap in funding after all the other city and state loans and your qualified loan amount is applied. It's forgiven at the end of your 30 year loan term and it becomes due only if you sell your home on the open market. If Habitat buys your home back, we will assume this loan. Habitat still has to fundraise to cover this silent second and to help reduce the gap between the sales price and the other stacked loans. Buyers with more than $20,000 of cash assets or who have income that are above the Habitat guidelines are required to contribute to the closing costs and possibly an additional down payment as a part of the financing of the home. In the next few slides, we'll break down our policy on closing costs and on the down payment contribution. So you can see here that if you have liquid assets of 20,000 or more, these include uh, cash on hand, uh, anything in your checking and saving accounts and certain in of investments. Uh, being above income guidelines means that you're above 80% of the area median income and that changes annually. Next, let's look at our closing costs. Closing costs are a part of every home loan and they typically include loan origination fees, appraisal and survey fees, title insurance, homeowners insurance, and the first year is generally paid at closing. Your property taxes, usually about six months of advanced taxes paid at closing, and a closing or escrow fee and other miscellaneous fees. Because of the amount of your assets, you don't qualify for a match savings plan, so you'll need to pay for up to $8,000 of closing costs before we start looking at possible down payments. Okay, 
So as we discussed in one of the first slides, every year Habitat determines the cost of land and development and the building of homes in Bend and Redmond for us. And we use these costs to determine our average goal loan amount that home buyers need in our program. This helps Habitat continue to build affordable homes. So let's also look at your down payment possibilities. So you also wanna note that your down payment will be reimbursed at the time of home resale or at the end of your 30 year mortgage. So that's a good thing to know. All right, what about the down payment? So we will meet with you to determine uh, the possible down payment um, based on your cash at hand and your uh, and the loan goal amount for uh, Habitat for that year. But basically, we look to figure out your down payment contribution. We first look at your affordable mortgage payment. And remember, that's your gross income multiplied by 33%. And that is your mortgage payment. That includes your property taxes, your homeowner's insurance, um, your if there's an HOA, HOA fees, a land lease, if there's a land lease, all of that's considered your mortgage payment. But we also wanna make sure before we look at your down payment contribution that you have at least six months of emergency funds. So we take your mortgage payment from above and we multiply that times six or six months to determine your emergency funds. Then we have to look at your closing costs and your emergency funds as a part of this equation. So we take your total cash assets we subtract out the $8,000 of closing costs, and then we also subtract out your emergency funds. And then finally, we have to look back at Habitat's average loan amount for the year to, and what you qualified for in order to figure out if you have a down payment. So remembering our average loan amount uh, that you pre-qualified for, and um, we start by looking at your pre-qualified amount. If your pre-qualified loan amount is equal to or above Habitat's average loan amount goal for the year, then you do not have to contribute a down payment. You'll only have to cover the closing costs. Then that for this year is up to $8,000. But if your pre-qualified loan amount is below Habitat's average loan amount, then we look at the difference between our goal and your loan amount to determine your down payment. You can also make a note here to ask Habitat when you meet with us one-on-one uh, -on -one for our average loan amount for the year, and then we can help you work through some of these numbers together. So let's recap. Remember that the sales price of the home is based on the appraisal and or the Oregon bond residential loan cap for the year. And we use the lower of the two amounts. So we start with that sales price. Then we apply all the other funding resources, including your qualified loan amount. And all of these together should equal the sales price. So don't worry if this isn't super clear at the moment. Um, it's a lot. We can have you watch the video again, or we can talk about it more when we meet one-on-one. -on -one. But these are all a part of what needs to happen in order for uh, Habitat to help continue building affordably in Central Oregon. Okay, next steps. So in addition to the code that you got from the first informational video, you'll need to take this code and also place it on the top of your customer intake form. So the next steps after watching these videos are to download the customer intake form from our website right below these videos and return that form and the requested income verification. You'll be contacted by email and we'll send you a link to do a soft credit pull. We only pull from one bureau, so this is not going to affect your credit score and that's something that Habitat pays for. So it's just our service to you because we want to help get you pre-qualified for a home loan before the next application cycle. So once we've received the soft pull and your information, uh, then we will reach out to you to set up a mortgage client counseling session. We'll usually do this via Zoom right now, but during this session, we'll look at your mortgage readiness and um, the other specific housing goals. And if you still have questions, um, we do a monthly Facebook Live on the first Tuesday of each month at noon. So you can go to our Facebook page uh, listed here on the slide 
and then just listen in and uh, you can comment type in the comment box if you have questions or you can listen to the topic that we're discussing for that day so we um, hope that this is making a little bit of sense to you it's clear as mud right um, but if not we will talk a little bit more and we're happy to answer your questions and we look forward to connecting with you so thanks for listening in